Not one hour. All right, welcome. We are live here at uh, West Washington High School for tonight's varsity basketball contest between the West Washington Senators and the Trinity Lutheran Cougars as Trinity Lutherans made the trip down from Seymour as we're ready for some basketball action here tonight. Of course, the Senators coming off of the uh, loss last night to a very good Paoli team and uh, still looking for their first win of the season here this evening. And, you know, Trinity might be the team that the uh, Senators can get that first W in the college. Yeah, hopefully so. I mean, last night they played pretty good, but, I mean, Paoli just came out on top, and Paoli battled, and right there towards the end, they just took away with it about five minutes left fourth quarter. Yeah, they did, and, you know, Trinity uh, coming into this game, they're one and two on this season. They do have a win. Their opening season uh, game against uh, South Decatur, they got the win 79-71. Since then, they have lost to Columbus East, which is a 4A school, 44-22, uh, low-scoring affair there. And then Southwestern Shelbyville, they lost to 31-28, uh, to so a close one there. Not a lot of points scored in those last two games for Trinity, so I'm not really sure what happened there because in the opening contest, they put 79 points on the board. So, you know, what we'll to see how it goes. Looks like they're kind of a... Uh, a tale of two tapes, so to speak. But in that first one, like we said, they scored a lot of points. Haven't been able to do so since. And that's been a problem for the Senators as well. We saw that last night. Senators averaging about 40 points or so a game. And half of those have been coming from Lane Hofler. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the West Washington's got to find somebody else that can put points on the board. Yeah, I mean, Ian didn't play too bad. He finally started a little more than the county where youth are valued, their needs come first, and investments are made in their well-being. In 2011, Youth First merged with the YMCA to best serve youth through their common commitments to youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. This merger allowed for further utilization of Youth First missions and the possibility to grow development assets in our community more initially. Beaten level of commitment to buyers, unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. Or just visit our website. Lynx Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday 9 to 5.30, Friday 9 to 6, and Saturday 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family-owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today, 812-883-4154. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849. Two six seven All right, back here live at uh, West Washington High School here on the Ron Smith Court as we're getting prepared for this contest tonight between the Senators and the Trinity Lutheran Cougars. We uh, kind of went to commercial there quick. I signaled uh, Coach Wolf and he, uh, he put us on commercial. So uh, anyway, we're glad to have those uh, 
those sponsors, and we appreciate their support here on the broadcast tonight as uh, we head in here to uh, our fourth basketball season of the year as the uh, season gets underway here. Senators, as we mentioned, still looking for that first win and hopefully be something they can get here tonight. But before we went to break, we were talking about the scoring, and, you know, Lane, uh, Lane is uh, – definitely led the team so far and we got to get some other guys to pick it up i thought ian rosenbaum done a nice job in the second half looking for his shot last night now we got to get a few more guys kenton took some shots just couldn't get anything to fall last night so if we can get a couple other guys going along with lane i think we'll be all right yeah the scoring has just been a really big thing that we got to get down i mean uh caden's ink he has he probably hasn't had like six eight points the whole season Right, yeah, yeah, they've, they've been struggling to find their, their shots, and I think that'll come in time. You know, it's just one of those things that, uh, you know, it's it's going to take a little time for those shots to fall. And, you know, I will say this, I thought Mason Cox, and we talked about this, come into the game last night, played really hard, especially on the defensive end, and also Jackson Cameron. So, you know, those two young guys we're going to need to to step up a little bit too down the road as we – continue on into our season here. Yeah, and uh, it looks like a pretty good matchup on the uh, the height-wise. You know, their tallest person being 6'4", you know, Lane being 6'5", and they got 6'1", 6'2", and 6'3", so. Yeah, th it's going to be another battle, and that's something that, you know, we've also struggled with a little bit is getting on the boards. We're going to have to get on the boards here tonight and, and limit uh, Trinity's second chance opportunities. Paoli Had got a bunch. bunch of those last night, and we talked about that. We, I don't keep the rebound stats, but uh, if I did, I'm sure that uh, Paoli would have way out-rebounded us last night. And, you know, that's something that the Senators got to work on. I think if, if this young team will get a little more physical, a little more, uh, you know, uh, aggressive, I guess, is the word I'm looking for, uh, especially on the offensive end. I think, you know, things will come together for them. Yeah, and, uh, you know, there's another thing on the bench, too. Tate Martell and uh, Grace McCoy still out, like we mentioned last night. We probably won't see them until next week. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think they're out with the COVID protocol. So, you know, those are two guys that are a little more physical that would help us on the physicality part of the game. So, yeah. Going to have to get that. You know, you look at Trinity's roster, as you mentioned, um, a lot of seniors. You know, they got one, two, three, four, five, six seniors on that squad. Pretty much their entire uh, varsity squad is, is senior laden. So, you know, they're definitely going to have the experience on the floor here. But, um, you know, it would be great for our team. We need to get a win here tonight, you know, heading into that holiday tournament next week. We play Borden in that first game on uh, Friday night, so the 6 o'clock game for West Washington, followed by Salem and Eastern. And then if we're fortunate enough to win, then we'll play in the championship game on Saturday night. So, um, you know, looking forward to that tournament. It's always a good time, always a fun time. And, uh, you know, uh, I think if these kids can, uh, you know, can find their shots, then, you know, we stand a chance. And, and that's something that, uh, you know, will come in time. You know, the season's young, and I think as time goes along, they'll definitely get to that point. Yeah, um, yeah, and especially like you mentioned, the boards are going to be a big thing tonight, especially with, you know, they're not too much taller, but they got a couple taller kids than we do. And uh, especially with the way that the boards came down last night, you know, Paoli probably beat us by 15, 20 boards last night, and you just can't have that when you're trying to win a ball game, especially when Paoli's on offense and they get their own offense board. Yeah, we got to limit those second chance opportunities. That's been something that's really been our bugaboo all year, and you know, we definitely got to do a better job with the little things like we talked about, boxing out taking care of the basketball. I thought we'd done a little better job of uh, not turning the basketball over last night, even though I unofficially had us for about 12, 13 turnovers in the game, and I'm sure I missed a few. But, uh, you know, we done a little better job with that last night than we had in the prior uh, previous two games. So hopefully that's something that the Senators can uh, fix as uh, time goes along as well. So, um, 
you know, we just got to find our shots and, and, and do a good job with those little things. And, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, the chips will fall our way and we can get a W here tonight because we desperately need one. Yeah, especially uh, you don't want to be going uh, with no wind into the holiday tourney. You know, those teams will tear you apart. And it's going to be a physical. Everybody's going to come and play. It don't matter if you're the worst team in there, best team. You could go home one night and go to the championship the next. Well, and it's like I was talking to, to some people today. You know, our schedule for a 1A school is pretty tough right out of the gate. You know, you come out with a 3A school in Salem, and then, you know, you play Eastern, who's really good this year. Um, you know, then go to Paoli and play, you know, a team that uh, in the last couple of years has been really good, senior laden, and you're going to have another one here tonight in Trinity. So, you know, these kids got a little more experience on the varsity floor, whereas our kids still – trying to grow up a little bit. We only got one senior in Caden Zink and, you know, a couple juniors in Mason Cox and Lane Hoffler. So, you know, uh, not a whole lot of varsity experience on the floor. Our sophomores are learning. They're getting there, but it's just going to take time. And, uh, you know, they just need a W here to, to get their confidence up a little bit and, uh, you know, let them know that they can win games. Yeah. You know, we've been in every game. But nobody's really blowed us out, including Pekin. And, uh, you know, I think Eastern's probably the best team. They haven't played only probably the best two teams we've played to this point. But, uh, you know, Salem game kind of got away from us there. Been nice to have gotten that win. I think that would have went a, a long way for our kids confidence-wise. But tonight's night where I think we can get one. We just got to play well and, and come in here. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can uh, do some good things against Trinity and get a W. Yeah, Trinity's looking really good, especially on defense side. Uh, they The only game that really let up many points was the one they won, 79-78-1. Yeah, and that was, you know, first game of the year. Since then, it's like they their offensive production's kind of fell yeah. off. The last two games they played, they, they just haven't been able to score the basket. And, you know, uh, that's been a, a problem of ours as well, even though we're averaging in the 40s. Uh, you know, last two games, they've been in the 30s. So, you know, I, I'm not sure what's going on with their offense, but uh, we'll see here once this thing gets underway here tonight. We're going to take another break. Hear a word from the sponsor, and we'll be back here on your home for Senator Basketball WWSR. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. Two six seven zero. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. Or just visit our website. This clothing and shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. After two years of study and research, the Washington County Community Foundation launched its first proactive initiative, Youth First, in 2007. Their goal was to create 
a positive environment within the county where youth are valued, their needs come first, and investments are made in their well-being. In 2011, Youth First merged with the YMCA to best serve youth through their common commitments to youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. This merger allowed for further utilization of Youth First missions and the possibility to grow development assets in our community more initiatively. Link's Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator Football and it's been a great season. All right, back here live at uh, West Washington High School as we're just a couple minutes away from our starting lineups here and our national anthem in this one. So, um, JV uh, Senators fell tonight. What was the final? Eh? Uh, it's 47-42. You know, they moved to 1-3 and three on the year. They beat Salem, and then they took a loss to Paoli and Eastern. Yep. So, uh, JV Young Senators trying to get it done. But, you know, in defense of them, they uh, they lose a couple players, you know. Because other players not Because they move up to the, yeah, with our guys out, with a couple guys out, Tate Timberlake and Grayson McCoy out uh, due to COVID protocol that, uh, you know, so we've had to move up a couple JV guys to the varsity. And after the halftime of that JV game, those kids have to go to the locker room so they can save some time for varsity. So, yeah, it kind of kind of robs their yeah. JV a little bit of uh, a couple of players. So that makes a difference for sure. But uh, we're ready to get this one underway uh, as we're just about a minute away from the start of this one. Senators returning to the floor now along with Trinity Lutheran as uh, we get things ready to go here at – uh, West Washington High School here on the Ron Smith Court. So um, just uh, anxious to get this one going here. Thank you for tuning in. Want to thank all our sponsors. And as we mentioned before, if you uh, want to uh, do some sponsorship on the uh, our program here with West Washington Livestream and WWSR, just contact uh, uh, Athletic Director Darren Russell here at the school, and he'll be glad to set you up with that sponsorship opportunity. So we thank the ones we've got as we're just a few minutes away here. We're going to hear our national anthem coming up here, and then we'll be back with our starting lineups here in the contest tonight. So we'll take a break, hear a word uh, from them, and then we'll be back here with that uh, starting lineup. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-227. 9421. That's 877-227-9421. Or just visit our website. At Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no-pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free 
WWSR, we have all the hits from the 80s to today, while also rocking out with some of the classics. There are also exclusive interviews with some of the West Washington's head coaches during their seasons, breaking down the best of the upcoming matchups. And there's more programming to come, so stay tuned with WWSR being available on the school website, Alexa, or your favorite device. And for those interested, sponsorship slots are available. All right, back here live as we get our starting lineups here for Trinity. Number two, Jacob Conrad will start at one guard. Number 14, Caleb Williams will be the other guard. Number five at one uh, forward will get the start. That's uh, Sage Broughton, who will start at one forward. Number 23, uh, Jacob Sabaton will start. And also number 20, uh, Hackman will be give be the other starter for the Trinity Lutheran Cougars for West Washington. Go ahead, Caden. I'll let you uh, run down. Number five, Caden Zink will get the start at one guard, and Kenton Chase will get the other start at the other guard. Uh, Ian Rosenbaum will get the start at one forward. And Titan Williams will get to start at the power forward. And at the center, Lane Hofer. Yep, so the Senators going with uh, the uh, the three sophomores, the one senior and a junior here in this starting lineup. Uh, Trinity, all theirs, as we mentioned, were all seniors. So um, definitely the experience leaning their way here on the floor tonight as we get ready to jump this up. Looks like Broughton will jump it up against Hoffler as we set things here and get this ball game underway. They'll meet there at the uh, midcourt as the official will toss it in the air. Ball goes up, controlled by Trinity as they'll save it and get it off. 14 with it, that's Williams. He'll bring it across the timeline. Looks and dribbles here near side, hands it off there to number 20, that's Hackman. Hackman with it, dribbles out high, now goes down low, and a foul going to be called right off the bat there as it looks like Titan Williams is going to be guilty of his first person. Yeah, it looks like he just reached in a little too far trying to steal that one and got called for the foul. So Trinity will inbound underneath their own bucket here as, as we're just underway. No score in this one. They get it in quickly. The shot's up, no good. Battle for the board. Man, it looked like they were over the back, and finally Caden Zink comes out of there with it. He'll bring it down quickly for the Senators. Gets it off to Hoffler. He'll throw up a one-handed runner. No good. Rebound Trinity is number five. Broughton pulls it down for them. They get it up quickly. Conrad with it now for the Cougars. He'll hand it back out high as it comes to Williams. Williams with it. Hands it off. Goes far side there to Hackman. Now they go down baseline. Shot up by 23 there. Sabat. He misses. Now they go get the, the rebound, and that's something. We've got to work on that rebounding. Yeah. Deep three ball up by number 20. On that, and he gets the first bucket of the night. On that one rebound, it looked like uh, number five of uh, Broughton was a little bit over the back on Williams there, which made him fall. They've been over the back a couple times. I think the officials have missed, it, missed that. Senators back the other way. Hoffler into Williams. Now he's fouled as it looks like there's going to be a reach-in foul against Trinity. We'll see who they call here. 23 going to be guilty. That is Sabaton, his first personal, the team's first. So West Washington will inbound underneath their own bucket here. Hoffler to throw it in. He'll get it in quickly as it comes in to, uh, I believe Rosenbaum shot the three, no good. Rebound pulled down by Trinity, and they're back the other way with uh, Williams. They bring it out. Conrad will have it top of the circle. He looks, now gets it off. Far side over there to Sabaton. Sabaton back out high. It'll come to Conrad. He'll pull it down. Looks there at the free throw line. Can't find anybody. Now goes down low. Sabaton up off the, off the glass. Good. Yeah, that was a good shot there by him. And to get that one off the glass, you know, that gives them their fifth point of the game. Five to nothing. Yeah, we're going to have to get a little more aggressive here if we're going to get in this game. Otherwise, we might get blowed out of here. 
Back the other way, Hoffler with it, gets it to Zink in the corner, back out to Lane. Hoffler with it, gets it here, comes to Kenton Chase, he'll kick it. Rosenbaum shot up from about 17, no good. Battle for the board and looks like it's gonna go off of West Washington, so it'll go back to Trinity Lutheran. Just out hustled us for that one. Yeah. They'll inbound now as they get it in. It'll be brought up here by 14 Williams. He'll bring it up, crosses the timeline. He'll dribble here near side. Ooh, he walked with it, no call. He'll get it off there to Broughton. Broughton with it. Now gets it off to Sabaton. Sabaton looking, can't find anybody. Now he'll throw it to, in there to the free throw line. Shot block as they went up with it. Back up when he got his own rebound. No, back up and in. That was number 20, Hackman. As he's got five of their seven here, seven to nothing early. Cinder's yeah. still looking for the first bucket. Yeah, I mean, Ken blocked him there, but Ken just lost where the ball went. He got it back and scored easily. Zink deep three, no good from the corner, and Trinity with the board. They get it up quickly, a run out layup. Can't score it, though. Rebound Hoffler. He'll get it up to Kenton Chase. Kenton will pull it down. Now goes back to Rosenbaum. Now inside the Titan. Back to Rosenbaum. Wide open three. He can't buy it. And the rebound long out there to Broughton. He'll pull up, shoot a 15-footer off the glass, got it to go. Man, they're just they're like not blowing missing. us out right now. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Nine to nothing here. 9-0 run to start this game with 445. Coach uh, Sullivan's going to take a 30-second timeout. We'll stay here with you because I think he just uh, doesn't like the effort that he's seeing out yeah. of the Senators right now. Yeah, they're not really, like, trying that hard. I mean, running up and down the floor, there's been a couple times where they've had a four on, well, four on three, and we haven't got back there to get to them and try. Yeah, I mean, they threw the ball long off that long rebound. Yeah. Got an easy run out, missed the layup, but they got their own rebound, and there again, they're just more aggressive, and that's been our problem to this point in the season. Uh, we're just uh, a little timid. Uh, on both ends of the floor, and we're going to have to uh, get a little more aggressive if we want to compete. Nine to nothing here is uh, Trinity out to an early yeah. lead in this one. Yeah, so. 40, 4 minutes, 45 seconds left. Kenton Chase off to Rosenbaum. Now back to Chase as they cross the timeline. He'll get it back over to Rosenbaum. Now they'll go down here, and a bad pass stolen away by Trinity. They'll pull it out, run it up, Hackman with it. Can't get it. Rebound, however, back up and in. Another rebound back up and in. It's finally tipped up there by Conrad as he scores. And it's 11 to nothing. Here Looks like they're going with the same strategy Paoli did with Holford. You know, they're double teaming them. And that he just threw a bad pass there and it got stolen away for an easy bucket. For well, why not? Caden Zink in the corner. Back out. Kent Chase with it now. He'll dribble around. Gets it to Rosenbaum. Hoffler in the corner. Three ball. No good. Rebound pulled down once again by Trinity as Conrad comes out there with it. He'll bring it up quickly, pulls up. Now thought about the three, now gets it off to Sabaton, goes back inside to Broughton, and he scores easily. He is just out hustling in a uh, physical tight yeah, limbs right now. Way physical, 13 to nothing here. Rosenbaum with it, down to Titan. Now back to Chase in the corner, goes to Zink. He gets trapped, now gets it back out to Chase. He'll kick it to Rosenbaum, now off to Hoffler. He gets fouled from behind, no call. It's going to be tipped out of bounds by Trinity. He'll go back to West Washington. Looks like uh, 50 Evan Hunt will come in for number 23, J Jacob Sabaton. Yep. And uh, he'll take a seat on the bench. Yep, get a little break here. 13 to nothing, our score. Trinity all over the Senators at this point. Ball tipped again. Chase finally pulls it down. Back out to Lane Hoffler. He'll get it in the corner to Zink. Now a long pass out to Chase. He'll take it. Goes baseline. And a foul going to be called first one of the night against. Or second one, actually, of the night against the Trinity. Number 14 going to be guilty. That's Caleb Williams, his first, team second. Senators just can't get a shot right now. They're can't get really anything to defense. fall. Yeah, yeah they are. Long pass comes inbounds to Caden Zink. Now off to Hoffler. He'll back it out. Gets it off to Rosenbaum. Out to Kenton Chase. Far side Caden Zink. He'll pull up. Now gets it out to Hoffler. He'll shoot a three. Got it. Yeah, anywhere from there. I mean, Hoffler wide open. He's going to hit it most of the time. And he just got wide open there, and they found him, and he got it in the first point of the game. Lane gets us uh, on the board here, 13-3. to 
10 point advantage for the Trinity Lutheran Cougars. Williams with it, deep ball in the corner and it's buried there, number 20. Hackman scores again his second three of the night as he's up to uh, eight points in this game already and another foul against Trinity. That's gonna to be on Jacob Conrad. Gets a reach in there. Number two, Conrad, his first foul. Uh, 23, Jacob Sabaton. He'll come back in. He'll take out number five, Sag, Sage Broughton. Or Broughton. Broughton, yeah. Broughton, yeah. And 15, uh, Cade Hill. He'll come in for number two, Jacob Conrad. Inbound pass to Hoffler. He shoots a three. Can't get it. Rebound Caden Zink back out to Chase. Kenton on the drive now. Takes it baseline. Goes up and got a nice bucket. Yeah, they're, like we said, you know, Lane can't do really everything, and they're finally Kenton drives and gets one to go. You know, he did that last night, but just missed them all. 16 to five now as they get it back out. Number 15 with it, that's Hill. He'll kick it back out high there to Williams. Now far side, goes over there to Hackman, who's had the hot hand for him. Hackman way out on the other uh, wing there as he'll go on the attack. Caden Zink on him. Now they'll kick it back out to Williams. He'll go and drive near side and going to be a timeout called, I believe, as uh, they'll take a full timeout here. We'll take a break as well here from the sponsor. It's Trinity Lutheran 16, West Washington 5. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. At Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. All right, back here live, 148 to go here in the first quarter. Trinity Lutheran 16, West Washington 5. So the Senators kind of digging their self a depot here to start this one. They got to get something going. Trinity yeah. with the timeout, though, inbound afterwards. They get it into Williams. He'll hand it off here to number 50, Hunt. Back to Williams in the corner. He looks inside, back out to Hunt. Far side, it'll go to 15, Hill. He'll pull it down, gets it out to Hunt. Now back off here to Williams, back to Hunt. Over the hill, he looks, gets it out. Hunt with it, pretty good defense here by the Senators. Inside pass will go to Hackman. He's had the hot hand for them. He'll drive, kicks it back out. Now throws it out to Williams for an open three look. No good, rebound however, Trinity back up. No good, Titan Williams battling for it. And the jump ball going to be called. It'll go back to West Washington. So, Titan yeah. a little more aggressive there, and that's what he's got to do. Yeah, I mean, they they went off of the man from Titan to uh, to 23. Uh, what's his name? The Jacob Sa Sabonton. Sabonton, yeah. Sabonton, yeah. And, uh, you know, that's kind of helping because he had like eight. He has eight or six right now. and. So they went to 2-3 zone, and that's really helped on defense-wise. Yeah, now they show a little pressure here as the Senators inbound, get it into Kenton Chase. He'll bring it up, gets it off Jackson Cameron. Far side to Hoffler, he'll wheel around. Man, he's got hands all over him. That's got to be a foul. 14 Williams just picked up his second personal as he was all over lane. Number two, Jacob Conrad. He'll come in for 14, Caleb Williams. And Caleb will take a seat on the bench with the foul. He picked up the foul against Lane. Yeah, he's got two now, so that's why they probably took him out. Rosenbaum inbounds, gets a baseline to Hoffler. He fights out of there again. He was just getting hacked all over the place and no call. Getting chased with it, he'll drive. Now kicks it out. 
as it comes out to Titan Williams, back to Hoffler. Hoffler on the attack, goes back behind the back, now back to Williams, off to Hoffler, now to Cameron. Jackson will drive, throws up a one-hander, no good, rebound pulled down and out of there by Sabat for the Cougars. They go the other way, they get it out to Hill, now to Sabat and far side to Hackman. He looks at a three, now finds a guy cutting the lane, he'll go up for the shot, no good, but he's fouled. That was Evan Hunt, and the foul gonna go against West Washington here. Wayne Hoffler picks up his first foul, team second here. Looks like five, Sage. Broughton. Broughton, yeah. yeah. That's a tough one to say. No, it wasn't that. Mine just went like that. <laughs> it's like something's going on. He'll take out number uh, 20, Michael Hackman. They're going to say Hunt wasn't shooting, so it'll be an inbounds underneath uh, their own bucket here for Trinity with 14 seconds. They'll get it in to Sabaton. He'll throw it back out high to Broughton. Now off to Williams. Shot up no good. Rebound in the lane. Back up by number 15. That's Hill. He scores his first bucket of the night. And it's 18 to 5. Shot at the buzzer. No good. So that's how we're going to end the first quarter of play here in Trinity, just all over West Washington at this point. We'll take a break, add up our first quarter stats, and come back here on your home for Senator Basketball, WWSR. We chose West Washington because of the academic excellence to help prepare me to be a doctor. We chose West Washington because of the quality of our athletics and because of the championships we've won. We chose West Washington because once you step into these walls, you're family. Here at WWSR, we have all the hits from the 80s to today, while also rocking out with some of the classics. There are also exclusive interviews with some of the West Washington's head coaches during their seasons, breaking down the best of the upcoming matchups. And there's more programming to come, so stay tuned with WWSR being available on the school website, Alexa, or your favorite device. And for those interested, sponsorship slots are available. At Eddie Hills Draft, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no-pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. Here at WWSR, we have all... All right, back here live to start the second quarter. Trinity with an 18-5 advantage. 13-point lead here for the Cougars as they'll bring it up to start this second quarter. Number 50, Evan Hunt with it. Gets it off to Sabaton. Long three, no good. Rebound inside by Broughton. He'll kick it back out to Conrad and another opportunity for the Cougars. He'll get it out to Hunt. Hunt with it off to Conrad. Now in the corner, three ball up. No good on the shot and saved in bounds. But, uh, you know, Senators got to get on the boards. They were, they had a chance there to get another offensive board. But we got it back. We'll go the other way. Caden Zink with it. He'll get it off to Hoffler. He'll pull it down, shoot a deep three. No good. Battle for the rebound. I believe we're going to have a foul against Trinity inside. I think it's going to be holding on somebody. Number 50, Evan Hunt, his first foul. Team's fifth, so Trinity starting to rack up the fouls here. Senators inbound will come into Rosenbaum. He'll get it off to Zink. Zink out to Kenton Chase, now to Hoffler. Hoffler far side, back to Chase. He'll pull it down. Looks at a three, no, no shot there. He'll pull it back out, get it to Hoffler. He'll pull up, free throw line shot. And he got fouled, no call. Off the mark, rebound by Hunt. Hunt will bring it up quickly and get it in the corner to Sabaton. Back out high, it'll come to 15 Hill. Now to Sabaton. He'll go down to Broughton, back to Sabaton to Hill. Now out to Hunt. Hunt with it, out high for the Cougars. He'll drive, looks, kicks it off to Conrad. Conrad looking inside, can't get it in there. Back to Hunt. Far side over there to Broughton. Broughton looking. Nothing inside, and he throws it away. So turnover there against the Cougars, and the Senators will get it back. We got to score some points. Yeah. Though. 
I mean, we took a couple of shots, but we just couldn't get them to fall, you know. Jackson took one, couldn't get it to fall. Lane took a three, couldn't get it to fall. Well, we just, nobody looks to score but Lane, you know. Yeah. We just stepped on the out-of-bounds line, so that's a turnover. Mason Cox had checked into the game for West Washington here in this second quarter. Um. Um, yeah, they've been a double team in the corners, which has really led to us turning over the ball and them getting it and scoring some buckets, and that's really helped them so far. Hunt trapped there at the free throw line. He'll get him <laughs> back out to Broughton. Broughton looking. Nothing inside. He gets it out to Sabaton. Sabaton looking. Now kicks it off there to come to Hill. Hill with it there at the free throw line. Out to Conrad now. Conrad looking inside, nothing there. Off to Hill, inside pass, it'll go. And a travel. travel. Yep, he sure did. Cade Hill walked with it, took too many steps, so another turnover. That's two in a row. We picked yeah. up our defense a little bit, but we got to get something on the offensive end. Haven't made them pay for those turnovers. Yeah, we just got to look to score more, and, you know, nobody's looking really to score. They're just relying on Lane to score. Chase to Zink inside to Mason Cox, and he scores in one as Cox goes up. Nice shot Good off pass. the glass and a great pass By there Zink. from Zink. Noticing he was cutting in and wide open. Yep, sure did. He caught him, and Mason went up, used the glass well, and put it in. Foul called against Hunt. That's his second. So he'll go out. Number 20, uh, Hackman, Hackman will check back in. And 14. Williams, he'll check in for uh, 15, Kate Hill. All right, Mason Cox at the line, a chance to complete the three-point play, and he does. And that's nice a big job there by Mason. There by the yeah, it was. We needed some points, and he draws it down to a 10-point game. 18-8 to eight here with 5.29 to go here in this first half of play. Cougars back the other way with it. They'll get it off. Williams with it out high. Now over to Conrad. He looks. Nothing there. Now he dishes it out. Three ball in the air. No good. Broughton with the board. Goes up strong. Blocked by Hofler, but they're going to get him for the body foul. And that's Lane's second. We can't lose him here. Yeah, and that was just a, uh, you know, there's nothing really Lane can do about that. Kid just took it hard, and then Lane blocked it, but they got him on the body. And, I mean, it looked like he was going to dunk it, and that would have really got them even more fired up, you know. And, Lane really done a good job stepping up, not being scared to defend it. Second foul against Hoffler, as that'll put Broughton at the line. First free throws up, and it's good. Titan will come in for uh, Ian Rosenbaum. 19 to 8. Second free throw coming here for. Broughton as he'll step back up there. It's up, no good. Hoffler with the board. So Lane will pull it down, gets it off Kenton Chase. Far side gets it to Cox. Now back out to Chase, out to Hoffler to Williams. Now over to Zink, wide open three. Oh, can't get it. And Titan with the rebound underneath, gets it back to Cox. He got fouled, no call. And Trinity pulls it out of there as number 20 Hackman comes down with it. It's just been real physical down there in the paint on both sides when the center's on offense and when they're on defense, and that's, you know, good and bad for us. Williams with it now out high off to Conrad. He'll go down low to Hackman. Hackman kicks it back out. Williams, top of the circle, gets it off to Conrad far side. Back out now to Conrad again. He looks, goes baseline. Gets it in there to Hackman off to Sabaton, and he scores easy. That's too easy for them. Yeah, especially with uh, their height advantage on uh, Caden Zink. You know, he just really couldn't do anything there. 21 to 8. You know, I'm wondering, looking at their uh, schedule, if, that, if some of these kids were under COVID protocol or something the last couple games because – They've got a nice little basketball team, and, you know, that first game they scored 79 points, and they're on track to do 80 here tonight. 21-8, to eight, Trinity over the Senators right now. Caden Zink with it, kicks it out. It comes out to Hoffler. He's double teamed. They'll get it off to Kenton Chase, shoot it, Kenton. He gets it to Mason Cox. Mason will drive, and he gets fouled. Oh, 
Oh, uh, one Levi Forge. He'll come in. That's going to be against uh, Williams. That's his third. Yeah, he'll come in for so. Williams, 23, and that's going to be hard for Trinity right now, especially with him scoring most of the What's points. What's number one's name? Uh, Levi know. Forge. Let me see that for a second. I need to write him in the book. I didn't have him in there. He was a JV player pretty much. Okay. Shot up Mason Cox's first free throw is good. Mason's got all our points here in this quarter. Yeah, he's playing really well, you know. I mean, he didn't play too bad last night. He I did. thought he played real well last night. Yeah, he night. did, especially on the defense side of the ball. He gets them both, so it's uh, 21 to 10 now. Senators finally getting into uh, double digits here. Uh, Rosenbaum will come back in for Williams, and Cameron, he'll come in for Caden Zink, and Zink will take a seat. We'll set on the bench. Uh, 3.37 left in the second quarter. Senators 10. Uh, Trinity Lutheran 21. Okay, Trinity back with it. Williams will bring it up. He'll get it off there to Hackman. He'll pull it down, shoot a deep three, and he buried it. He's had the odd hand for them here all night long as he hits his third three of the night. 23 to 10. Hoffler back the other way off to Kenton Chase. Chase with it far side. Gets it off to Hoffler. He'll drive. And the ball on the floor stolen away by Trinity. They're just more physical than we are right yeah. now. Yeah. Nobody down there on yep. him. Lane was slow to get up. So, I mean, number five. They get it down low to Broughton, and yeah. he scores again 25 to 10. And a timeout here by Coach Sullivan. So, 32nd one will stay here with 255 to go in the first half. You know, the Senators haven't played too bad this half, but, I mean, still they got to play a little bit more defense. And uh, the – Trinity Lutheran, you know, they're just starting to pull away with this one again. Yeah, they just, they're just way more physical than we are. You seen that on that loose yeah. ball that got tipped away. And, you know, Lane tried to get on the floor, but, you know, they're hacking him. They're all over him. And they, and you know, that's what teams are going to do. We've, we've got to get some kids that's uh, got a little more grit and, and, and get after it a little bit. Uh, like we said, and like we've talked about all year long, they're going to have to if they want to be competitive here. Yeah, I mean, they've just hacked him all night, and I don't think he's really happy with that. You know, there's a couple times where he shot and he got hacked and no call. And so. 26 to 10, our score here. Senators back the other way. Mason Cox to Rosenbaum, out to Hoffler, now off to Kenton Chase. Kenton will drive, throws up a one-hander, no good. Rebound Cameron off to Hoffler. He shoots it, can't get it, and tipped out. It'll come out to Broughton. He'll take it coast to coast, tried to dunk it. Got it to roll in. Couldn't get the dunk, but he put it down, and it's 28 to 10. Mason Cox tried to get back there and steal it, but he just was not fast enough for that kid's long stride. Kenton Chase will shoot a deep three. No good. Rebound Hoffler as he puts it back up off the rebound. So, good job there on the glass as Lane scores again. 28 to 12 here. Cougars with it. Back the other way. They get it off Conrad. He'll go baseline. Kicks it out. Williams wide open three. Short. Tipped out to Kenton Chase. He'll get the board. And look like he got fouled, but no call. And it's going to be tipped out of bounds by Chase. It'll go back to Trinity. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're just hacking the heck out, especially Lane. Yeah, He's they're, they're way night. more physical. Yeah, and that's something the center's got to work on, getting physical, you know. Basically, everything about physical. Salem out physical. Eastern did, and Paoli did too. And we just got to work on that. Yeah, we're going to have to get, uh, get a little more hungry for the basketball here. Hunt back in the game for Trinity. He'll bring it up as he controls it out high, kicks it off far side to Conrad. Conrad in the corner to Hackman. Hackman back out to Conrad. Now to Hunt. Hunt with it, looking. Gets it down low. It'll come inside there. Now back out to Conrad, off to Hunt. Hunt over to Hackman. Hackman, long pass. Three ball up there off the mark. Rebound Kenton Chase as Conrad shot that deep ball. Kenton back the other way for the Senators. He'll pull it down. 
Kicks it in the corner. Jackson Cameron out to Hoffler. Lane will drive. Pulls up free throw line. Can't get the shot. And he's struggling to get it to go tonight. Rebound for the Cougars as they'll bring it down. And a foul going to be called. That one's on Cameron. Pushed him a little bit. Driving in. And uh, Titan Williams. He'll come in. He'll get it. He'll get Lane, so Lane will take a set. We'll see. And, uh, you know, he's got two fouls, so probably just saving him. Not too much time left in this second. Yeah, under a minute to go here in the first uh, half. No inbound. They get it in. Conrad with it. He'll throw it over to Hunt. Hunt looking. Now kicks it back out to Conrad. Conrad far side to Hackman. Back to Conrad. Back to Hackman. They get it down low and stolen from behind. Tipped away. Mason Cox, but now stolen back by Trinity Hackman. He'll pull it down, gets it off to Sabaton. Now to Hunt. Hunt with it. Kicks it off here to Hackman. He'll shoot inside the oh, three ball. Rosemont tried for a steal and missed, so, I mean, he just left wide open there for that three, and he's had the hot hand, especially from the three-point line, and he just got that one to go to. 31 to 12, Cox with it. Off to Rosenbaum, over to Cameron. Jackson now down low to Chase. Three seconds. Jackson will shoot a deep three. Can't get it. Rebound. And that's the end of the first half. So the Senator is going to go into the locker room here down. 19, 31 to 12. And not much offense. We'll add things up from the first half. It won't take us very long. Senator's not a lot of points. And we'll come back here with your uh, – Halftime report here on your home for Senator Basketball, WWSR. After two years of study and research, the Washington County Community Foundation launched its first proactive initiative, Youth First, in 2007. Their goal was to create a positive environment within the county where youth are valued, their needs come first, and investments are made in their well-being. In 2011, Youth First merged with the YMCA to best serve youth through their common commitments to youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. This merger allowed for further utilization of Youth First missions and the possibility to grow development assets in our community more initially. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. Two two seven nine four two one, or just visit our website. Hits from the 80s to today, while also rocking out with some of the classics. There are also exclusive interviews with some of the West Washington's head coaches during their seasons, breaking down the best of the upcoming matchups. And there's more programming to come, so stay tuned with WWSR being available on the school website, Alexa, or your favorite device. And for those interested, sponsorship slots are available. 13,000 feet has a way of testing a man's soul. After all, you were never meant to take on such an endeavor. That long drop is what separates human from superhuman. And here we are, right here, right now. You're good at motivation, we're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. The Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing 
that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott Counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. Lynx Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday 9 to 6, and Saturday 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today, 812-883-4154. Our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. After two years of study and research, the Washington County Community Foundation launched its first proactive initiative, Youth First, in 2007. Their goal was to create a positive environment within the county where youth are valued, their needs come first, and investments are made in their well-being. In 2011, Youth First merged with the YMCA to best serve youth through their common commitments to youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. This merger allowed for further utilization of Youth First missions and the possibility to grow development assets in our community more initially. There is a wide variety of items. All right, back here live at the half. Senators trailing 31 to 12 to the uh, Trinity Lutheran Cougars here. Run down the first half. Scoring for Trinity Lutheran, Jacob Conrad with one two-point field goal for two points. Sage Broughton had uh, four field goals from two-point range, one free throw for nine total points. Uh, Jacob Sabaton, two field goals for four points. And the hot hand for Trinity in that first half was uh, Hackman. He had uh, four three-pointers and a two-point field goal for 14 uh, total points in that half to give Trinity their 31. Not much scoring for the Senators here in this one. Mason Cox actually gave us a little spark off the uh, off the bench here in the second quarter. He had a, a field goal and three free throws for a total of five points in that first half. Lane Hoffler had a three-pointer and a two-pointer for five as well. And then Kenton Chase rounded out the scoring with two points. So only 12 points for the Senators here in this first half of play. And just what we've been talking about, Caden, you know, we're just struggling to find any offense. Yeah, I mean, and the, I mean, yeah, we can't really score the ball. And, you know, when you give up 31 points and your offense doesn't really score that much, you got to find a way to stop them in the paint, especially, you know. Yeah, Trinity just a lot more physical, a lot, a uh, lot bigger and stronger. Uh, you can tell that you know they're senior laden team and that it shows on the floor they just they've got after every loose ball every extra rebound they've they've done things really well and like i said i mean i don't know the story behind their team being uh, one and two at this point but uh, 
you know, those last two games, they only scored in the 30s, and they've got 31 here at the half. So, um, you know, I'm wondering if they didn't have some kids out due to the COVID protocol or uh, for some reason or another because this team looks pretty good to me. And I knew coming in, you know, Coach Sullivan had told me that they would be a tough test for the young Senators here, and that's definitely been the case here in the first half. Yeah, I mean, they've really, uh, they've really played hard and got more physical and been more uh, active than us, you know. They're hustling more. They're playing smart basketball. They haven't, haven't really had much turnovers, and the only reason, the only way that they haven't been playing smart basketball is foul. They've had, what, seven, eight fouls in that first half. Yeah, they, they did get in a little foul trouble. Caleb Williams has three. Evan Hunt with two, and then they got a couple other players with one. Um, the only person on the Senators uh, team that's got more than one is uh, Lane Hoffler. He's got two, Jackson Cameron and Titan Williams with one each. So not a lot of fouls by the Senators, but a lot of that's due to the aggressiveness. They, you know, Trinity just way more aggressive and uh, – you know, they've got after every loose ball, got every extra rebound, and, uh, you know, that's why they're up 31-12 to 12 here uh, at the half. And uh, Senator's just going to have to get a little more physical um, going forward. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be a long season for for the uh, Senators here uh, uh, in this year. So they get. I think they will. You know, it's just one of those things where, uh, they're going to have to realize that uh, when you're on the floor, you got to go 100%, got to go 100 mile an hour, and um, just just be really, really physical. And they're they're late coming out of the locker room here now, finally coming out under a minute here in the halftime break. And uh, I'm sure, Coach Sullivan got after him a little bit. Uh, I'm sure he yeah. didn't like the effort in that first half. You know, you had guys like just half jogging up and down the floor, and you can't have that if you're trying to win a ball game, especially down by what? Down by 19. Yeah, 19. You know, yeah. You, you're, you're just shy of 20 there and only scoring 12 points. I mean, they've just got to find a way to put the ball in the hole, and, um, you know, what we've been doing haven't been working, but we've had some decent looks. Just the shots just aren't going down for West Washington, and, um, you know, you got to do, like we said, the little things are huge. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I've i had some coaches over the year that, that always said, you don't have to be the most physical guy. You don't have to be the tallest guy. But you do have to be the guy on the floor that gives the most effort. And if you can give some effort, you got you're going to be halfway successful. And that's, uh, that's something where Trinity is just way out effort us at this point. Uh, that's about all you can say about it. So we'll start the third quarter. West Washington will have the ball to start here as they come back with their starters on the floor. Rosenbaum will inbound to Chase off the Hoffler. Inside to Rosenbaum, now to Zink, back out the lane. Lane with it, gets trapped. They're still double teaming him. Off to Zink, now to Hoffler. He looks, goes out to Kenton Chase, far side. They got Zink wide open in the corner. Can't get it to him, stolen away by Trinity. Hackman will come out of there with it. Gets it off to Conrad. He'll drive. Gets cut off. Now goes inside. Ball tipped away from him. Zink almost comes up with it, but they get it out there to Williams. Williams will kick it off to Conrad. Conrad off to Sabaton. Now to Broughton. Stolen almost by Chase, and he does come up with it. Kenton down the lane. Got it. You know, really good play Kenton. by Kenton, and uh, he tries to shoot it. He missed the first time, and then the kid – couldn't catch it, and then Kenton stole it again and went down and scored a bucket. Well, that was an aggressive play, and that's yeah. what Kenton's got to do. And, uh, you know, he's he's a, he's an aggressive kid, uh, you know, and uh, I think they're, they're, they'll figure that out. 31-14 to 14 now. Trinity back the other way, another aggressive play. Kenton tips it away from Hackman, but he gets it back, gets it to Sabaton. Now it goes baseline to Conrad. He'll wheel around, looks, throws a high pass out to Williams. Williams far side off to Sabaton in the far wing. Now back to Williams. Williams will dribble top of the key. It's cut off there by Zink. Now looks. Gets it off to Conrad. Conrad with it. Back to Williams. Williams gets it off to Hackman, and they're going to call a 
foul. Uh, yeah, legal screen, I believe, going to go against the Trinity Lutheran team here. Yeah, you know, we are talking about uh, how the Senators have to be more physical and get more effort. You know, they come out and they, they got have. a steal and a bucket, and they Zink's been pressuring the ball every time they get the ball. Somebody's been there to pressure the ball, and, you know, we almost had two or three steals this quarter, and it's barely started. That one going against Sabat as he picks up his second foul. Rosenbaum with it, back to Kenton Chase, back to Rosenbaum, now out to Hofler, Lane with it. He'll wheel around, gets cut off there. They're just double teaming him all over the place. Rosenbaum open, gets it to Zink. Zink off to Williams, and he scores. You know, Zink, he's got to shoot that one. Yeah, you know, he should have open, shot, but, but he got it to Titan. Titan yeah. scores, so 4-0 run here to start this uh, third quarter. 31 to 16, Senators showing a little life. Conrad will pull it down, shoot it. No good, rebound Rosenbaum. Nice job there by Ian as he got position boxed out well and got that board off the Hoffler. Three ball, can't get it to go. Kenton tips it away and Hackman comes out there with it. He'll bring it up quickly, dribbles baseline, gets cut off, stolen from him. Chase tips it away and that's, that's gonna go back ball. to Senators. The Senators have been playing really well, keeping it fast pace and you know, the training team, we saw it in the first half, they want to slow it down and Picking take it up. time and score. I don't, know, I don't know what Coach Sullivan said to him, but it's working. Yeah. He got their attention at the half. Hoffler back the other way, dribbles far side, now gets it to Titan, off to Kenton. Kenton over to Zink, now back out to Kenton. Oh, stolen away. He's going to dunk Rock that. goes in for the dunk, and he slams it down. You know, there's nothing you can really do about that. We yep. got to stop bounce passing it so slow. You know, those kids are jumping for anything and everything. And then it gets tipped away, away right another there. Another steal by Sabat, and they'll get it off to Hackman. Now Trinity's woke up here. Hackman dribbles in the lane, lost it, kicks it out to Sabat, and off to Williams. Three ball. No good. No good. Rebound Conrad, though, inside. He wheels around, throws it up, can't get it. Sabat battles for the board. He gets it. Kicks it out to Hackman. Hackman drives, and a foul going to Nope, they call it on him, I believe. Call push off on him. Senators yep. got a break there. You yeah, know. They, they did. They were struggling on the boards. So now's a big time where you need to score. And this so that'll not go against Hack. Yeah, they're, they're uh, upset with the call. He did kind of push off a little bit, though, but I'm not so sure we didn't. Travel. The travel called on Zinc. That was kind of a makeup, I believe. Timeout going to be called here. I don't even think Zink can move there at all. <laughs> I think he just passed it. Yeah, I'm not sure what that was, but I think that was kind of a makeup for the call down here on the foul. Yeah. Full timeout going to be called here. We'll take a quick break. Come back here with you on your home for Senator Basketball WWSR. From name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping, alternations, and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday, 9 to 6, and Saturday, 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family-owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today. 812-883-4154. At Eddie Gilstrast, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no-pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. All right, back here live, 4.31 to go here in the third quarter. Trinity 33, West Washington 16. A little fight shown here yeah. from the Senators, but uh, uh, Trinity uh, got the ball back on a turnover there by West Washington. Conrad with it off to Williams. Williams looking, now goes back to Conrad. He'll pull it down, kicks it back out to Williams. Williams looking inside, nothing there. Back over to Conrad, back to Williams. He'll pull it down now, shoots a three off the front Can't of the rim. Get it. Conrad with the rebound and another offensive board by the Cougars. Conrad will drive, free throw line, kicks it out. Williams will try another three ball. Can't get that one. Another rebound by Hackman. We just don't do a good job bodying up. 
Deep three by Conrad, no good. Hoffler finally gets a rebound for the Senators. Hoffler back the other way, gets cut off there by Broughton, and he fouls him. Sure does. They've been hacking lane yeah, all that, night. They're all over. They they're all over lane. <clears throat> so his first foul against uh, Broughton in centers inbound to Hoffler. He goes up, can't get the bucket, and he fights for it. Good fight, Lane. And he ties up Hackman on the board, but it'll go back to Trinity. So Wayne's frustrated, which he should be. You know, I mean, he's getting hacked. He's getting double teamed. He's been... You know, just but he's got to just calm down and play his game here. Conrad with it, gets it off to Williams, far side. He throws it down there to Hackman. Now back out, long pass to Conrad inside and stolen Lane. away by Hoffman. Good, good play there by Lane to Lane see will that. pull it out, drives, nice move, takes it to the hole, and he gets fouled. Finally, they get one. You know, yep. he's been getting hacked all night. Two of them hacked him there, and he finally be just two got free one. throws as he was in the act of shooting. I believe that foul's going to go against the bot. And yes. Yeah. Hunt's going to come in. That's his third. Well, he's not coming in yet, but he, I would say Hunt's going to come in for some bot. Yeah, you're probably right. Wayne Hofler at the line. First free throw. Man, he's just struggling with his shot tonight. This is the first. He'll get another one. Hunt will actually come in for Conrad. Conrad. And yeah. uh, Mason Cox will get out tight and Williams for Sanders. So Hofler at the line, second free throws up off the front of the rim. No good, missed them both. He just can't get anything to fall No, he's just struggling tonight. It's an off night, and, you know, that's one of the things we talked about, you know. When he Senators has an off night, yeah. we're going to struggle. Ball kicked there by Hoffler on the defense, so a good play there by Lane. Trinity it inbound. They'll get it in. Williams with it. He'll kick it down low to Hackman. Hackman in the corner, now back out to Williams. Williams off to Hunt. Hunt dribbles far side, kicks it to Hackman. He'll shoot a three, no good. Rebound, Ooh, however, Sabaton in the middle, and he gets it back up and in. You know, Mason Cox, he's down there fighting for everything. You know, when we're you're 5'11", and that kid's 6'5", and he's pretty much going over the back on Mason Cox every time, and there's nothing Mason can do. Hofler drives the baseline, can't get it to go. Rebound by Cox, back up, can't get it, but he's fouled. They'll say it's on the floor, though, so. Yep. So Mason uh, with a good hustle play there. You know, if it wasn't for Mason, I don't know if we'd be in this game right now. Well, you know, we're struggling. And Mason, though, has played really hard. Got to give him credit. He's, he's done a good job. A couple of subs come in. It'll be Senator Ball underneath their own bucket with 2.30 to go down. 19 again, 35-16. Kitten Chase will get it inbounds. They'll go back to Rosenbaum. Now it's thrown away. Ian with a bad pass. Stolen by uh, Sabaton. They'll get it up quickly to Conrad. He'll pull it down. Gets it off to Sabaton. Now over here, it'll come to Hill. Back out to Sabaton. Sabaton back to Hill. They're just taking their time and yep. just wait until something comes open. They're trying to get it to Hackman. Yeah, he he's got the hot hand. And, uh, Out to Sabaton for a deep three. No good. Battle for the board. Another board by the Cougars. They're just all over the offensive glass. Hackman will wheel, kick it to Conrad. Now out to Broughton. He'll shoot. Air ball, but Sabonis is there. Puts it back up and in. Sabaton scores again, and it's uh, 37 to 16, a 20-point lead, biggest of the night. Another turnover there by the Senators. And we're just tired. I mean, we just don't have any energy whatsoever, and uh, Trinity just getting whatever they want here. Sabaton with it. <clears throat> Gets it off to Hill. Hill now back to Sabaton. Zink's really just working hard. You know, they got a 2-4 zone. Well, 2-3 zone, I should say, but Zink's up top, and Really, it's a uh, two, two zone. Well, one, three zone, because Chinton Chase is just guarding um, 20. Mason Hacken. Cox with another rebound. They'll go in the corner to Hofler. He'll shoot the three. He can't buy a bucket. And the rebound pulled down by the Cougars. He'll get it off to Conrad. He'll bring it up quickly for Trinity. And a foul going to be called against uh, Caden Zink. 
It's his first, team's first here in the second half. Jackson Cameron, I think he'll come in for Zink and, and then the Trinity Cougars will, will call a timeout. Full timeout here by the Cougars. We'll take one as well. Hear a word from the sponsor and be back here. It's Trinity 37, West Washington 16. Here at WWSR, we have all the hits from the 80s. While also rocking out with some of the classics, there are also exclusive interviews with some of the West Washington's head coaches during their seasons, breaking down the best of the upcoming matchups. And there's more programming to come, so stay tuned with WWSR being available on the school website, Alexa, or your favorite device. And for those interested, sponsorship slots are available. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. 9421 or just visit our website. All right, back here live after the timeout as Trinity will inbound as they took a full timeout here. 45 seconds to go in the third quarter. Trinity up by 21 here over your West Washington Senators. Sabaton with it out high, kicks it off to Conrad. Conrad. Looking, Ian Rosenbaum out on him. And he'll pick up his dribble. Now gets trapped out there with it. Finally gets it away and almost stolen and out of bounds. It'll go to Senator. So good hustle there by Kenton Chase as he knocked it off a hill and it'll go back to West Washington with 21 seconds. You know, we need a big bucket here. Yeah, we can you use know. one, a three or something. Yeah. Rosenbaum inbound to Chase off to Cameron. Jackson crosses over, gets it back over to Kenton. Kenton back to Jackson. He'll kick it. Rosenbaum inside to Cox. He goes up strong. Can't get it. Got his own board back up. Can't get it. Rebound Hoffler, and he gets hammered. So another foul going to go against the bot, I believe. Mason Cox, Mason Cox he's Cox played has really well. played real time. really hard. If everybody played as hard as he does, we'd we be would really be, good. Yeah, game. we would be really good. Looks like 20 Hackman, he'll come in. That was Sabaton's fourth foul. Yeah, so I'm sure he's coming in for Sabaton. So Lane continues to struggle here. No, he actually comes in for 50 Hunt. Sabaton will stay with four fouls. Yep. Hoffler uh, hasn't been able to get a free throw to go in tonight, and he's usually automatic up there. He'll get a second one. It's up, and no good. Broughton with the board, so Lane continuing to struggle. Conrad pulls it down, shoots it no with good. three seconds, no good, and that's the end of the third quarter. So, Senators go into the fourth quarter here, down 21, 37 to 16. We'll get another word in from the sponsor and be back here on your home for Senator Basketball, WWSR. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812849 we chose West Washington because of the academic excellence to help prepare me to be a doctor. We chose West Washington because of the quality of our athletics and because of the championships we've won. We chose West Washington because once you step into these walls, you're family.
All right, back here live to start the fourth and final quarter, 37 to 16. Trinity on top by 21. Senators will get the ball to start this fourth quarter. Kenton Chase off to Jackson Cameron. Now inside Mason Cox. After Rosenbaum, he'll get it out to Kenton. Chase now inside to Cox. After Rosenbaum, deep three ball. Can't get it to go. Almost we just him. struggled tonight. Broughton will come out with it. He gets a run out off to Hackman. Hackman pulls it down baseline. Now flips it out to Conrad. He loses it. He'll pull it down and try to get it off. Now he's trapped in the corner there. That's really good defense by Ian, and they'll call five, five seconds. Five second call. Ian got in there. He noticed he was struggling trying to pass it, and Ian just smothered him. Yeah, good job by Rosenbaum. So uh, he cuts him off, and it'll go back to the Senators. Turnover by Trinity. <laughs> Kenton Chase off to Jackson Cameron. Cameron will bring it across the line. Gets it in the corner to Rosenbaum. Just got to keep shooting. And Mason Cox in the center. Throws it off to Hoffler. Lane will spin. Goes up. And still can't buy a bucket. He just can't get a bucket to go tonight. And Conrad with the board. Going to be a foul against the Senators here. They'll call that one on. Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum, yeah. Yeah, that's his first. Teams uh, second here in the uh, second half, so we really haven't fouled a lot. Just, uh, just not been aggressive enough to foul. Sabonis so with it out high. Yeah, five second call this way. The Senators have done a really good job defensively this this half. I mean, you know, it's two back to back five seconds calls there, and just really good defense. Yeah, we've kind of picked up our intensity a little bit, but we're just struggling to score. Jackson Cameron, oh, they had it to Mason Ian's Cox in the it. end, and he couldn't handle it. Conrad back the other way, another turnover, West Washington. And a foul going to be called against Cameron. That's Jackson's uh, second. Team's third. Several fouls to give here Yeah. for West Washington. He'll inbound. He'll get it into Broughton, stolen, stolen away by, by Hoffler. Lane up the floor. He's getting fouled all over the place. He gets it out and a turnover, West Washington. Yeah, just sloppy ball all the way around here. Both teams, really. Hofler is not very happy. You know, he couldn't get a butt. He well, couldn't buy a bucket and he just can't do it. He's getting hacked. And yeah. He, you know, uh, Broughton has just beat on him all night long. Him and Sabonis. Sabaton. And that's I'm a really the Pacers yeah, player there. That's a really good plan, you know. I mean, you look at the last three games we've played, you know, Holford scored 20-17-18. Oh, yeah. You know, if I'm playing West Washington, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put pressure on Lane. I mean, he's he's kind of their uh, their bell cow. Yeah. You know, we go as he goes. And, uh, you know, these teams that know that defensively, they're going to put a lot of pressure on him. And that's what yeah. – uh, Trinity has done here tonight, and that's why he struggled so much. Yeah, and I uh, went back and watched Salem live stream, and I think that's why we lost there for towards the end. Well, Coach Malloy realized, yep. oh, oh, for scoring a bunch. Yep. Defend him really they got well. They him. did. Yep, sure did we, put a trap on him. And we then. had like two points in the final five minutes, I think it was. Yeah, you're right. And put the pressure on yeah. Prestis. And Senators will come out with a little – Pressure here. Hackman will get it inbounds. Kenton Chase on him. He'll drive now. Goes down the lane. Throws up a runner. And Hoffler with the board. Lane, good job there with position to pull that rebound down. He'll get it off. Rosenbaum in the corner. Hit one in. Oh, I can't get it to go. We just really Barely. struggled. So Botton will just bring it out and just slow it down. Yeah, they'll throw it up to him. Off to Hunt. Now to Conrad. Conrad goes in, free throw line, cut off. Sabaton looking. Gets it off now to Williams. Williams kicks it back out to Hagman. Hagman looking inside. Conrad will take it, blocked away by Rosenbaum. And That's a, Hoffler will come out there with it. That was a huge block by in there. He just came out nowhere and just sent that inside thing right to Cox, back. Now out to Rosenbaum. He'll set his feet and finally, finally got gets a three. One, man. Three in a row. And He's got to keep shooting one. him. Now put the game at 19, Senators 19, uh, Cougars 37. Yep, so an 18-point lead here. 
Hackman will go down the lane. He just beats Kenton Chase to the hole. Hackman's our dude, you know. Yeah, he's he probably is. had 15, he's got 16, 16 points. right now. Yeah. Ah, ah. Backing over, yep, sure is. And Lane is just not happy he's at just, all. His game is just a little off tonight. Caden Zink will check in for Jackson Cameron. 5.14 to go in the contest. Trinity 39, West yeah. Washington 19. Senators, though, uh, full court press here. And Ball will come in to Williams. He'll pull it down. Caden Zink on him. He loses it now for a second. Gets it off to Conrad. Conrad with it. Dribbles in the lane, goes in strong, and he's fouled on the floor. I think they'd call that foul. That's going to go against Ian Rosenbaum, his second. Team's four, so still no free throws for the Cougars. Ball come in, Sabaton off to Hunt. Hunt down low, he'll take it now out to Conrad. Three ball off the mark, and it's going to be a push against Hack. No, they're going to actually call it on oh. Kenton Chase. Well, they called it on Kenton. I thought that one was on Hackman, too. Well, it looked like he pushed him all the way through the lane there, but they didn't call it. So. Titan Williams, he'll uh, come in and he'll sub out Mason Cox. Kenton Chase's first foul, team's fifth, Sabaton. Looks at a three, now kicks it out to Williams. Williams with it out high, Caden Zink on him. Gets it off to Hackman, he'll drive the lane, kicks it out, Hunt. Now out to Williams, now back to Hackman. Inside to Sabaton, he gets doubled up and... Ian's gonna create jump ball. What? Oh, he just got a technical. That was uh, number 23. Number 23, Sabaton. yeah. And he'll foul out. That's it for him. I don't really think he did anything, you know. I mean, he said something, or he wouldn't have got a T. So that technical will go against Sabat, yeah. 23 Sabat. He's telling his teammates that he didn't do anything, and but I don't really know his foul. back was turned to us. He didn't, well, it didn't he look did, like he did anything physical. Kinda, I think Rosenbaum kind of come in from behind. He yeah. tried to tie him up, and he kind of chucked him a little bit, and that's why he got the call. No, uh, they're not. Are I they don't know foul? that he hit him, but that's his fifth foul anyway, yeah. so he'll have to sit down. So... Caden Zink will go to the line to shoot these uh, technical free throws. First one's up. Boy, and we just cannot buy any kind of points. As Caden can't connect. He'll get another one. That second one rolls out. He is. Coach Zolvin is not very happy about those. You know, Caden Zink usually gets yeah, him to fall. And he's he just probably couldn't. shooting in the 80% range free throws. And, Senators have just struggled all night long on the offensive side. You know, defense, they picked it up this half, but the offensive side has just not been good. Yeah, you know, when just, Lane Hofer can't hit a shot, yep. it just goes downhill for us. Caden Zink now inbound, gets it off to Kenton Chase, back to Caden. Inside to Williams, out to Hofer. He'll shoot a three. Got finally one, gets finally. one. And he's, uh, he's really happy for that one, you know. 22-39, a 17-point lead for the Cougars. They'll get it inside, Hunt with it, out to Williams, now to Conrad. Conrad with it, ball tipped away, now he picks it back up. Penetrates, now kicks it to Williams in the corner, back out to Conrad and a foul on Ian Rosenbaum. As Ian picked up his third foul. Ian has got, Ian has got really physical this He has quarter. this quarter, yep. Picked it up you know, a little bit. He got some bottom to technical, and he, he's got a couple nice steals, and he's trying really hard. 16 foul now. They'll get it into Hackman. He'll drive, throws it in the corner to Hunt. Hunt with it, pulls it down, gets it out to Conrad. Conrad off to Williams. Williams 
Looking inside there, cut off free throw line. He'll get it out to Frogel. Off to Hackman. Hackman with it, looking inside, gets it to Conrad. Conrad will spin, and he traveled with it, sure did. You know, the Senators are starting to pick it up. You know, Lane finally hit that three. He's been trying all night. That was probably his, what, fifth point of the game? Uh, let's see. He's got eight. Eight. Yeah. Caden's in with it after the uh, turnover. They'll get it to Rosenbaum now to Hoffler. He gets he bumped fouled. another foul. This one, I believe, is going to go against Conrad. He'll go to the line. Hopefully he can hit these. You know, he hit that three. Maybe he's in a rhythm again. Yeah, he struggled from the line. Yeah. 0 for 4 up there tonight. So, hopefully he can. Number five, uh, Sage Broughton. He'll come in. He'll take out number one, Levi Ford. And number one for the center is Mason Cox. He'll come in, and he'll take out Titan Williams. You know, Mason Cox has been playing really well tonight, especially on the defensive side. Mason's been the bright, uh, b bright spot here tonight. He's really played hard. Hopefully at the line, Lane's first free throw up, and he got it. You know, that's a big one there for Lane. Hopefully, I mean, we could make a run at it, but, I mean. 307, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've picked up our defense. we just got to get some shots to fall. It looks like Lane's back in his rhythm, you know, making that three, and then he makes those two, which gets us really good. 24 we get him trapped and almost Senators stolen ball. by Kent no. Chase. Tipped out by Chase. So it'll go back to Trinity. Sullivan's really liking the effort now this half. And they get it in. Oh, oh, almost stolen. Conrad pulls it down, gets it to Broughton, over to Hunt, and he'll score. Mason Cox, you know, three on one down there. They were just throwing it back and forth until eventually he got tired and just couldn't make a play on one of them, and that's really smart by them. Uh, Hackman, he'll tip it out of bounds, going for the steal. 41 now to 24. Senators will have the ball in front of their own uh, bench here. As they'll inbound, Rosenbaum to throw it in. He'll Zink. get it in to Zink. Shoot. He'll shoot a three. Ah. Can't get it off the mark. Rebound to Hackman. Hackman back the other way. Takes it in the lane. Throws up a one-hander, and it rolls in. 43-24. Kenton Chase will hit a shot in the lane. You know, it seems like when Sage Brighton comes in, they just play different. Yeah. They pick up their intensity a little bit. Hunt with it now. He'll pull it down, gets it out to Hackman. Hackman drives, kicks it out to Broughton, back to Hunt. Hunt throws it out of bounds, so turnover against the Cougars. We, we got a shot, but, I mean, we're going to have to score fast and then play good defense. Cameron, he'll come in for Mason Cox. 43-26, 2.04 to go. So, Senator's kind of running out of time here. Rosenbaum will get it in to Kenton Chase. Chase to bring it up. He'll cross the timeline. Gets cut off, goes over to Caden Zink. Zink back out to Chase. Chase will drive, finds a baseline. Jackson Cameron, nice pass off to Zink. And he Zink scores. gets his 28-43. Center's full court pressing. Hackman, he'll bring it up. Passes over to Hunt. Go ahead. Oh, oh. I'll, I'll let you take it for a minute. Uh, Williams has got it. He'll get it over to Hackman. Hackman will travel, take yep. one too many steps. Yeah, he and sure Center's did. got it back. Turnover there by Trinity. So, man, we've, we've picked it up, but just a little too late. Timeout going to be called here by Trinity. 30 second, we'll stay with you here as the Senator's down. 15, 43 to 28. But, With a uh, minute 33 left in the fourth quarter. We kind of picked up our intensity yeah. here in this fourth quarter, but it's just a little too late. Yeah, I mean, you know, if the Senators had a couple minutes, you know, I feel like they could make a run and maybe win this game if they had a couple more minutes. I mean, they, could st they got a shot, yeah, but we've they, got a, scored they got to score fast. 12 to 6 in this quarter, but the problem was, you know, we were down uh, so much that uh, just – Trying to come back is going to be tough to do here. You know, with the third quarter of only scoring four points. Yeah, that hurts you. If you would score at least we maybe scored, eight or ten in that, you got a shot. We yeah. haven't scored in double figures in any quarter except for this fourth quarter. That's the only one. Rosenbaum down bound. He'll get it into Kenton. Chase will bring it up. 
Kenton across the timeline off the Hoffler. Lane gets it over to Cameron. Cameron will pull it down, shoot a deep three, no good. Rebound pulled down by Hackman. Hackman back the other way, back tip stolen by Cameron. Jackson run out and he'll score. Ian, you know, that was a really smart play by them. He just like steps in front of Hunt, doesn't really set a screen. He just like kind of turned his back. 43 to 30 and a foul now going to be called against uh, Jackson Cameron, I believe. Yeah, it looks like the JV will come in for the uh, Trinity Lutheran Cougars, you know, with a minute, minute seven seconds left. 20, well, 30, 43, Senators down by uh, 13, you know, there's really nothing they can do. Yeah, Trinity's going to get the win, but uh, I like our fight here in the fourth quarter, but we just waited too long. You know, yeah. you got to start fighting a little sooner. Conrad at the line. First free throws up, and it's good. 44 to 30. He'll get another one. And he hits them both, and he'll come out of the game now. And that puts uh, the Trinity Lutheran Panthers, well, the Cougars up by 15, 30, 45. He'll throw it into Holfler. He'll look, get it to Kenton. Back to Holfler. Over to Ian. Into the corner of Zink. He'll think about the three. Drives. Back out to Ian. He'll shoot the three. No good. Rebounded by Ian. Oh, and it gets stripped away, though. And they'll call a travel on the Trinity with Panthers, so. He did. He walked with it after he rebounded, so. Yeah. Senators will get it back here. 50 seconds remaining. Pass Throw it out to Hoffer. He'll yep. take a deep three, and it's no good. Yeah, he just he struggled tonight. Foul going to be called. He'll call foul on Zink, I think, but he didn't really look like he'd done anything. Yeah, it looks like he come in from behind and. May have been a little over the back. Yeah. So the number 10, um, Andrew Bell, who shoot the free throw. Bell misses rebound Hoffler and back the other way for the Senators getting chase off to Caden Zink. Baseline shot, no good. Rebound Hoffler back up and in. Yeah, you know, I mean, I like to fight from the Senators here in 30 seconds, but it's just a little too late, you know. They can't really make a run at it yeah. now. They needed this at least with two minutes left. Yeah, and we should have started this in the second yeah. half. You know, that third quarter was disastrous as we only had uh, four points. We'll just stay here until uh, – this one's over with, with 31 seconds to go, and uh, Trinity going to get the win. But, uh, you know, we're going to head into that tournament next week, uh, you know, 0-4. Uh, oh we can get a win against Borden. We, we re play Borden. really need that. Yeah, we will. And everybody comes playing the holiday tourney. So if we can get that win, I feel like that would uh, get us a little boost here going on for them. Maybe we can win the holiday tourney too if we – when the well, first round, you know, it just comes down to right. Salem and Eastern. If you're a big statistic person and paper person, Eastern's going to win that game. But you just never know with those type of holiday tourney type things, everyone comes to play. You know, that I think our team, you know, may be figured out here in the fourth quarter. You know, you got to fight uh, throughout the game in order to put yourself in position and uh, – we didn't do that the first three quarters, nope. you know, and finally come alive here a little bit in the fourth, but just a little too late. Trinity will inbound as they try to get it in, as they will. It'll come in almost stolen. Ian Rosenbaum kicks it away, but it'll go back to Trinity here. Senators full court pressing, you know, still not giving up. And, you know, that's one of the things you need to be a good team. You know, you don't give up and, and – Keep trying all the way till then. And Lane Stolen. Holford will get a steal. He'll take it up, and they're going to call foul on number 10. Number 10, Bell. Andrew Bell. So that'll put Lane at the line with 25 seconds to go. Holford will shoot. Hopefully he can get these to go. One and one opportunity here. 
First one's up and he hits it. So he's hit three in a row here after being cold in that third quarter. He couldn't couldn't buy one. And I jinxed him. Missed the second one. Mason Cox still fighting. Doesn't get it though. Uh, 12. He'll take it up for the. And they're still trying to get a steal. The Senators are. And he'll just throw it away on accident, but Zink saves it. But I really think that was going to be out on the Panthers there. Then they get an easy bucket, number 24. Colin Gross, he'll get the bucket there. And then that will be the end, you know, Senators 33, Panthers 47. Yep. And we'll take a quick break and be right back with you. Yeah, we'll take a quick break, come back with the final stats here. The Senators fall 47-33 to Trinity Lutheran. Lynx Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday 9 to 6, and Saturday 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today. 812-883-4154. Here at WWSR, we have all the hits from the 80s to today. We're also rocking out with some of the classics. There are also exclusive interviews with some of the West Washington's head coaches during their seasons, breaking down the best of the upcoming matchups. And there's more programming to come, so stay tuned with WWSR being available on the school website, Alexa, or your favorite device. And for those interested, sponsorship slots are available. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. Here at, at Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no-pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. After two years of study and research, the Washington County Community Foundation launched its first proactive initiative, Youth First, in 2007. Their goal was to create a positive environment within the county where youth are valued, their needs come first, and investments are made in their well-being. In 2011, Youth First merged with the YMCA to best serve youth through their common commitments to youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. This merger allowed for further utilization of Youth First missions and the possibility to grow development assets in our community more initially. At Eddie Gilstrap. All right, back here live. Senators fall 47-33 to Trinity Lutheran. Oh, and uh, four on the season uh, heading into the holiday tournament coming up next weekend at Salem where the Senators will take on the Borden Braves in that first round matchup. Real quick to run down the scoring for the Senators. Uh, they were led in scoring by Lane Hoffler. Lane had one three-pointer, or two three-pointers, one two-point field goal. He was only three of eight from the line and a total of 13 points. So his, uh, his lowest production of the year so far. Um, Mason Cox had uh, five big points. He had one field goal, three for three from the line for five. Uh, Jackson Cameron with a bucket, Caden Zink with a bucket, Ian Rosenbaum with a three-pointer, uh, Kenton Chase with three two-point field goals for six, 
and Titan Williams had one bucket for two points to get West Washington 33. Um, Trinity was led in scoring by Hackman. He had uh, 12, he had 18 points in the game tonight. So, Senators just got to keep working, uh, try to get better here as we head into that holiday tournament coming up at uh, Salem next Friday night. That'll be our next broadcast here on the air. So, we appreciate you tuning in with us. And uh, thanks to all our sponsors. And be safe uh, driving home tonight. And our thoughts and prayers to all the folks who went through the uh, storm last night uh, down in Kentucky. And uh, just hope, wish them all well. And uh, God bless you. And so for Caden Abbott, this is Bubba.